Mod Pop Thrift. It is Wednesday, and I had to go to the post office because I sold 35 items. You probably saw them on the last video that um, I was shipping. I was getting things ready for so long that I couldn't, that I didn't even make it out before one o'clock when the mailman showed up. So I had to go to the post office. I also had two larger packages of VCR and a record player that are going UPS. So I got to drop those off at UPS. That's pretty close, but it's also pretty close to the Goodwill. Um, I have more than enough inventory. I pro The last time I was at Goodwill, I spent $300 and my cart was stacked up like I just had a regular shopping cart. Sorry about the shaking. I don't know how that's coming across. I'm hitting bumps while I'm driving. But I um, had a cart so high that it was like taller than me. It was just a regular shopping cart and it had, and there wasn't like big stuff. There was one 12 by 12 by 12 box um, and some Guitar Hero guitars, but it was nothing like crazy huge. Uh, but I just found so many items. Anyhow, that was two days ago and I'm going to go uh, back to that Goodwill. I'm going to, this time I am going to get in and out quickly because I have to get to Walmart um, for a few things and I have to get back home in time for supper. So I'm going to pop in and out of here real quick and see if we can't find anything good. I'll drag you along and show you the highlights. So the first thing I found was this Harley Davidson grill, but it is $18 and you can buy it brand new on Amazon shipped for 30 and that one's dirty and gonna need cleaned. So not only is there no money, but I could actually buy it if I wanted to keep it cheaper than that. The other thing that I found was also Harley Davidson and that was this mug. And I was thinking, oh, mugs are 99 cents, cool. Nope, marked up to 2.99. So evidently somebody that's pricing today thinks that Harley is worth more than it is. But that's okay, I did find this Coke thing for 97 cents. And I mean, I wouldn't be spending $5, which is the yard sale price on it, but it's 97 cents. This is a pretty cool piece. It's like these brass reflective sailboats, something that would definitely be considered mid-century modern. It is, which is which is where the mod comes from in mod and pop thrift, is that I focus on mid-century modern. It's $2.78. So I'll have to do some comps and see if that's uh, worth getting, but I suspect that it is. Okay, so just for clarification, the one that I picked up is not that one. Um, the comps that are $1,500. But those brass wall hangings from the 60s, 70s that are signed J-E-R-E. -E, they call it Curtis Jeer, but I know that it's two artists who combine the letters in their names. There is no person who's named Curtis Jeer, or however you would say that. Um, but some of those ornate brass... Uh, kind of geometric ideas of shapes that look like kind of look like sailboats some of that stuff can be really high dollar there's some there's one that's like a starburst and geese that's really good too so just keep an eye don't pass those up just because they're big and they're weird uh they do they can carry some value especially if they're signed um but what i found would have probably been a 40 dollars. okay so this was the point where i got a phone call that evelyn's nose had been bleeding for 20 minutes and we couldn't make it stop. So I put that stuff back and I ran home and we got it stopped and she, we talked to her doctor and it didn't start again. So it was just a weird thing, but uh, I didn't actually end up buying any of that stuff. All right, this is gonna be really quick. I had 35 items sell yesterday. I've only got five today. So first one is this hat. I haven't found it yet. It's white socks and it's like a cul it says Culver's on the back. So I suspect that it's like a stadium giveaway. Sold for $14.99. I paid a dollar for it. I've probably had it for three months. This Subaru hat I picked up while we were in Wisconsin. So it's like three weeks it's been listed. It's new with tag and it uh, sold for $15.99 free shipping. I paid $2 for it. Ozzy Osbourne, I paid a dollar for this, and it sold for $11 free shipping, but that's going to go media. This Nike shirt I had listed for all of about 10 minutes, sold for $15 plus shipping. It's got some, sta it's silver tag, it's got a really nice uh, print on it, but it's got some stains, and so I listed it low, 
but it didn't stop it from selling quick. And then I went to a garage sale and picked this up. It's uh, from Nightmare Before Christmas. It is a Sally dress. It's women's size 18. It's like a Halloween costume. But I didn't realize because I was in a dark garage and I don't do enough checking. Just honestly, that kind of irritates me about myself. But it's got stains here and then all throughout this yellow. I don't know if you can see those tiny little spots. It's got probably uh, approximately 100,000 tiny little yellow spots on it. Freckles uh, that aren't supposed to be there. And so where this would have been probably a $40 dress, I went ahead and listed it for $15.99, which was making money, but I didn't want it to sit around forever because it was flawed. So I did make money, but I didn't make a ton of money on that. Uh, kind of the case with all of these things. The uh, I made a little bit of money. So let me see, four, that's the most I spent on everything. Four, six, 50. 8.50 I spent nine dollars and fifty cents on everything here and then if it sold for 15 30 45 55 and it's gonna cost me probably let's say twenty dollars in shipping um, so that puts me at 35 less 15% fees. I don't know what that would be right off out of 55. Well, I guess it would be 15 bucks. So I made $15 ish on my seven, whatever my number was on my total investment, nine. Anyway, not a banner day, but a pretty good day. Um, and I got the shipping done while I'm standing here talking to you about it. It took all of, well, the video's only, four, only I'm at four minutes now. So, boom. Headed to Goodwill. Last time I wore these glasses into Goodwill, we did super well. So. Maybe we'll blame it on the glasses and I'll wear them again. This time I remember to grab my wallet before I walked out. Let's hit it. All right, so we are driving in the van today. Um, going to UPS because I sold that Wii. Um, and I'm going to drop it off at UPS and that's right close to Goodwill. So we're going to go into that Goodwill. Um, this time I, I don't... I, you guys saw my cart the last time I went into this Goodwill. It was six feet tall. I got most of that stuff processed, but I can't do that again. I literally did not sleep that night. I stayed up all night taking pictures and processing and testing stuff. And I, we may, I've made, I spent $300. I've already doubled my money and just barely touched. Not even all that stuff's listed. It's all pictured and inventoried and put away, but I haven't got the pictures uploaded to eBay yet on all of it. So I can't do that again. So what I'm gonna try to do is be in here for 20 minutes, half hour, and find things that sell for more than $20 and cost less than five. See how well I can do with that as my parameters. And sell for more than $20. Um, if something's $21, like, I think I'm not gonna spend five bucks on it. I might spend three. A lot of stuff seems to be like in that $1.78, $2.78. That stuff I'd buy for to sell for 20 bucks, but the stuff that is, if I'm spending five, I better be selling it for 30. But you guys have seen, I've been able to do a whole lot of buy it for three and sell it for 70 out of that Goodwill recently. So. Uh, hopefully we find a handful of those things. That's the reason that I'm going is I don't, I don't need bulk inventory. I need solid home runs. Um, and I've been able to find them with some frequency there. So I want to do that. Uh, let's do it. As I'm walking in, I see, well, I'm driving into the parking lot. I see somebody who I know is a very high caliber vintage t-shirt buyer. So 
that's why it's good to diversify because they're probably uh, there i mean there might be new wrecks but there's probably not a lot those are huge steel toes with their stanley brand Hands a little worn in. Probably not as vintage as I want them to be. These shirts sure look cool. Time trio now. I think I left these here last time. Those look vintage. Nike Elite. These are not your typical looking ASICs. That brand I don't normally do very well with. All right guys, I've been terrible at filming in here. I think you guys got to see some stuff that I'm picking up while I'm going. Um, the Nikes turned out to be in too bad a condition to be worth messing with. I don't know if you can hear they're dragging in sofa across the floor and it's making it real hard to hear anything. Scooby-Doo 1999 new with tag. He's 99 cents. Comps at like 15 bucks. These two water bottles are vintage and this one says radio. Oh, they both say radio grill on them. I just noticed that. But they're uh, 50 cents and I think they'll be like 12 or 15 bucks for the pair. Uh, Bobby Flay. There was a sold comp for 20 bucks. This one is 378. We'll see um, the, the sold comp was smaller saucepan. This is uh, Revere wear, and uh, the comp seemed pretty high, like $35, $40 on this, and it says Paul Revere on the side. It needs cleaned up. But doesn't Revere wear always need cleaned up? Some ASICs that are uh, 378 and they're just in nice shape, so I'm going to get them. North Carolina, a uh, dollar and nine cents. That's awesome. There's two things, some work gloves that I'm just gonna keep. There's a couple of things that I'm really super excited about. We're gonna hold out till the end. This Cubs rug is uh, $2.78. A couple of shirts. This is Patagonia. And this is just a silver tag Nike, so it's worth probably 20 bucks. Just a graphic screen print silver tag Nike in a decent men's size. Those are $2.50 a piece. This is a joke for my wife. This is not a brand I've ever heard of. It's T R A M O N T I N A. And it has two strainers in it, and it's like a 10 quart stock pot. So, and then the two things that I'm most excited about, this Arthur hat, new with tag, denim, 1997, tickles me pink. Berkeley water filtration, it appears to be unused, uh, $4.99, here's some comps on it. That should make me some money, even if it's used. And then, unless they've brought out a new cart while I'm videoing this, then I think we're done. Oh, some boxcar children's books for 50 cents. They are not part of the collection that I already have. So I'll add them to those and see if I can make more money. Seagull is a really good guitar brand. I own the Seagull, I love it. I thought this would be a cool case for it, since it's an empty case. But $60, not a chance. I just saw this for $9.99. It's brand new and it's Crazy girly pattern. Okay, so we're on the turnaround trip. I just brought the cart back in and I saw two new merchandise carts. So I gotta go check those out. Hopefully there's something cool worth coming back for. Well, yep.
think I might just buy all of these books. Yeah. Well, this one's missing the cover. Those City of Fallen Angels, the Mortal Instruments series is what it's called, um, should be around $40 uh, with medium mail shipping. And then Harry Potter is always good. If you can get a whole set of Harry Potter uh, hardbacks, you can sell them for close to $100 shipped. Um, and then the Mockingjay Hunter Hunger Games series is always good for $20, $25 if you get them all. Um, and I have a couple. And I think one I'm missing out of that set is Catching Fire. And I think I have that sitting on the floor in the storeroom. So, a few moments later, these Harry Potter books both say first American edition, and so that isn't like it's not the best thing in the world. Well, I mean, you're not gonna get better ones probably than that, but they are uh, they don't add a tremendous amount of value, but they do definitely make these two worth selling by themselves as opposed to waiting to find a couple more. I'll put some comps up. There's a or maybe my listing. Anyway, these a, a dollar a piece. Those are worth picking up. And also the city of uh, these city of ashes and things. They were book two, three, and four, and in soft cover, and book three, four, and five in hard cover. So I'll probably just sell them as those runs, and they'll be twenty dollars a piece. But I mean, I'm fifty cents. And 50 cents, like one, two, three, four, fifty into the lot of those books. And then these I paid a dollar a piece for, and they'll be, if I have the Catching Fire, it'll be like 25 bucks for the lot. And I think that I do. Not a bad trip. I think without that Berkeley um, stainless steel water jug, it would have been lackluster, but. If I can figure out selling that, because it's definitely pre-owned, I don't think it's used, um, and I don't know if all the parts are there. But I could probably get $150, if not a whole bunch more, uh, depending on if I can figure out how it works and that all the pieces are there and whatever. Um, so that that definitely made it, uh, that was the cake, and everything else was just the icing. Um, should do reasonably well. It was a fun trip. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see this stuff sell, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll get a notification when I post another video. And it'll probably be some what solds and at least some of this stuff. Um, click the like button. It really helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything. And it uh, shows me that you're liking what you're seeing. And leave a comment if you've got questions, if you've got questions about reselling in general or the things that I found or why I passed on something, then, you know, hit me up in the comments. Let's talk about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, guys.